Deputy Speaker. The genesis of this motion uh, calling for greater scrutiny of industrial scale, land intensive, intermittent electricity generation projects lies in the distress and despair that it's leaving lives in, in tatters in the, my seat of White Bay. Not too much is more sacred than the family home. And uh, in regional Australia, that family home also includes a block of land. It's part of our vernacular, the great Australian dream. That dream involves a, a block of land for business, to garden, farm, uh, to keep a native bush or do whatever you like because it's your land. Unreliable energy and associated transmission lines are taking our great Australian dream for many of my people and turning it into a nightmare. What people have worked for their entire lives for, or for generations, is uh, under threat by Labor governments intent on making electricity bills more expensive and energy unreliable. One constituent bought her block, her rural block for the trees, but the transmission lines when finished, will leave her no mature trees on her block whatsoever. Another spent $9,000 planning their dream family home and the transmission lines will run right through her living room if, uh, if she built that home and it's completely unviable. What people, uh, sorry, one, uh, people fight for years. Uh, writing submissions, enduring meaningless bureaucratic consultation sessions thousands of hours away from their family and work after being channelled into stopping massive transmission lines and industrial scale energy projects from destroying their homes and communities. Last week, Climate Change Minister uh, Chris Bowen announced subsidies for another 32 gigawatts of unreliable energy, equivalent to half the national energy market. He has yet to release the costs, how much land will be required for the projects or how many properties will be acquired to connect them to the grid. For example, a single solar farm in my electorate at Mana Creek requires 460 hectares. The Lower Wonga solar farm re will require up to 600 hectares. Forest wind uh, between Meribah and Gympie spreads 226 wind turbines over 226 hectares. Barumba pumped hydro will inundate up to 1,500 hectares. At this rate, Wide Bay will be inundated and carpeted in solar panels to achieve Labor's policy. Professor Simon Bartlett, the former CEO of Powerlink, says the $14.2 billion Barumba scheme will need to be switched off during an El Nino weather event. This Thursday will be another dark day when the power link reveals which properties will go under the proposed Barumba transmission lines to Waluga which will involve ripping up between 54 and 83 kilometres of forest. A farmer can't cut down a tree, but foreign developers can flatten thousands of hectares to build wind factories, solar plants and hydro impoundments with their transmission lines cutting scars across Wide Bay. Labor's policy is fundamentally flawed and will ultimately be unnecessary, and the landowners are rightfully distressed. So-called renewables supply about 30 per cent of our electricity uh, as it is. To meet the uh, Albanese government's target, re these renewables uh, must supply 82 per cent of the electricity by 2030. Land-intensive intermittent power generation projects will cause irreversible damage to homes, communities and prime agricultural land while destroying the environment and natural wildlife habitats. The same people who are so strongly advocating this 80 per cent target and espouse the social, social virtues of countries like Canada and Norway are conspicuously silent when those countries' embrace of nuclear power comes up. For families facing diving property values, places they can't farm or build their homes on anymore, the stress, anguish and mental health toll is rising. Is there a seconder for the motion? Member for Capricornia. 